Sometimes the key to success is just not doing dumb things. Today I want to share with you the seven dumbest things I see agents doing right now. You know, as I look back on my sales career in real estate, there were times that I can look back and I'm just like, I was just doing dumb things. I was making silly mistakes and I just wish I would have had somebody that would made me aware of those things so that I could have changed direction. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the seven dumbest things I see agents doing right now. Hopefully you're not doing any of these, but if you are, this is going to be a reminder to snap out of it and come back in to doing the things that are absolutely going to help you grow your business. Number one is waiting on the business to to get better. Listen, the market is there. There is opportunities in every market cycle. But what happens is, is when we go through what we went through with the pandemic, where we had this crazy, just almost parabolic growth as far as the number of transactions is, is that people got lazy, but they just thought it was just going to come to them. And at times, during that time, it actually did just come to you. But now we're back in a more normalized market and we're sitting here in a place where the people that are actually doing the work are doing the business. So a lot of times what I'm seeing agents do that are really making the biggest mistake right now is they're waiting on this market to get better when in reality there's things happening all around them. Also, the people that are taking action now that are having the conversations with their past clients, that are generating new and fresh leads, that are adding value to the marketplace in a new and a fresh way than they've ever done before. Those are the people, not if, but when this market takes back off, that those people that are freezing right now, that are just waiting on it to get better, those folks will never have the opportunity to catch up with those that are taking action now. Now. Make sure you're out there and you're taking action now and you're not just waiting, but you're out there making things happen. The second mistake I see agents making right now is, is that they're out there buying leads. Now, let me just say this. There are situations where buying leads can make sense, but in most cases, it's absolutely a waste of time and effort where you could be focusing in on some other things. Again, there is a plan of action out there where if you're buying leads and you have a follow-up plan, that you can absolutely make sure that you can get a return on your investment. But most people don't. And the majority of the people that are out there buying these leads don't even realize. I mean, a number of years ago, they were saying there was over 100 million leads sold in real estate, and there are only around 5 million transactions. Think about that. The conversion rate on these leads that you're buying online typically is somewhere between 1% and 5%. And listen, 5% is for the absolute rock stars. And those are the ones that you're going to pay the most for because they're closer to the transaction where they're ready to make a decision. So if you're out there and you're wondering, what should I be doing then? Why am I spending all this money and I'm not getting a return? Number one is, is if you're going to continue to buy leads, absolutely put a rock solid plan of action to follow up with those leads and make sure that you're taking advantage of the opportunity you have. However, if you're out there and you're trying to figure out what to do otherwise, go out and figure out how to generate some leads. Spend more time with the people that already know, like, and trust you. Deepen the relationships with the people that will possibly send you referrals. Go out there and host open houses where you're face-to-face -face with people geographically farm an area, whatever it is that you choose to do. Most people should absolutely not be out there buying leads right now, and it's one of the biggest mistakes I see the average agent making in this market environment. The next mistake I see agents making is, is that they think that social media is the answer to growing their business. Now, let me say this. It's part of the answer, and it is something that absolutely can be a part of your growth, but it's not the only answer. And done alone, it will absolutely be very difficult for you to build a business. Now, if you see most of these people, the problem is, is that we see the average agent. They see a very experienced agent that has a huge following that's out there, and all they're doing is, is they're talking about their business. They've been sharing. They've built this big following, and they now have the opportunity to to generate a large part of their business through social media. They did the work. It took time. In most cases, most of these agents had an existing business and were professionals before they started getting on social media. And they absolutely had an understanding of exactly what their clients' needs and their pain points were so that they could speak specifically to those once they got on social media. If you're out there and you're a newer agent or you're thinking, man, I really need to grow my business, social media is a part of this, but it's not the answer. Let me tell you what the answer is. The answer is picking up the phone and having real estate related conversations with potential buyers and sellers. Stop focusing on social media. Pick up the phone. Then supplement that with the ability for you to grow a social media profile. Once you get focused in on doing the absolute part of the business, 
that is critical for your success, which is having those conversations. Now, once you're out there having those real estate related conversations, now you understand your client in a way that you understand the questions they're asking, their pain points, and now you can speak to those on social media in a way that attracts the right audience for you. The last one leads us right into the next one, which is most agents are making a huge mistake by waiting on the phone to ring. They're just waiting on things to happen. Listen, things aren't just gonna happen. You're absolutely, if you're gonna have those real estate related conversations we were just talking about, you're going to have to make outbound calls at least for a period of time until you build your database up, till you build your past client list up, till you build your sphere of influence up to a place where the phone calls will begin to come in. This is the natural process of the business. Most people want to skip the steps and they just want to move straight to having people call them. It's not just gonna happen. If you're gonna have the phone conversations, you're actually going to be out there and have to make those contacts yourself. This is a contact sport. When you make the contacts, you get the business. The next one is something that I've seen agents do over and over again as the market changes, and that is depending on one lead source. You know, if you're out there and you've got one great lead source right now, you're extremely vulnerable because the market can change like that. Think about the people years ago that used to be on putting posts on Facebook and they would just get leads, asking people if they wanted to know the value of their house. It worked extremely well for a little while. Those folks that just dove all in and quit doing other types of lead sources, when that dried up, their entire business dried up. Think about the people that were out there when we had the ability to just run Facebook ads and they were doing extremely well. Once that changed, everything changed. Think about the people that have been out there and that right now are just doing whatever it is and they're all in on one thing. I promise you the market will change. There will be a new way to generate leads and all of a sudden what you've been doing will become obsolete. Now's the time to diversify the types of leads that you have coming in. Think of it like this table that I'm sitting at. The more legs this table has, the more stable this table is, and the more that it has the ability to actually build up on top of this table. If you're building a business, the more legs, so to speak, that you have as far as the types of lead sources you have, the more secure your business is, and the bigger your business can grow. The next dumb thing I see real estate agents doing right now is, is that they're actually out there and they don't have a plan of action to grow their business. They're just kind of, kind of taking things as they come. I will say this, I've never seen a single person that was extremely successful just drift into success. They had a plan of action, they had a direction they're going. They may have adjusted along the way, but they had a clear understanding of exactly what it took on a daily basis for them to reach their goals over the long term. Are you out there just kind of drifting and maybe you're wondering why nothing's happening is because you don't have a clear indication of exactly what you can do today to make sure that in the future you have the business you're looking for. Last but not least, agents are out there thinking there's an easy button. They're looking for the magic pill, so to speak, that they can take and everything's going to get better. Listen, there is no opportunity out there other than the hard work, adding value, being consistent, and staying in the marketplace long enough to find the success you're looking for. Now, you can speed up your success by I'm taking more action right now. It's not a matter of if, it's when you take the action, what results will you get? You'll get better results because the more action you take, the better you're gonna get. The more phone call conversations you have, the better you're gonna get at identifying what it is that the person on the other end needs from you or that you could do to add value to them. The more content that you put out there on the, on the web as far as adding value to people, the more you'll see who responds to that and what it is they're looking for and how you can service them better. There is no easy button, no one's come to say, you, it's actually going to be the level of effort that you put in this business that's going to actually determine the amount of success you have. There are absolutely people that are going to have their best year in this business this year, no matter what this market does. When you take action, you stop doing the dumb things and you start doing the smart things, which is moving your business forward in a strategic manner, everything else takes care of itself. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.